Rated E for everyone. Club Penguin was a massively multiplayer online game involving a virtual world that contained a range of online games and activities. The game launched on a Dog Flash player on October 24th, 2005, but unfortunately on March 30th, 2017, the Club Penguin was, re was replaced by Club Penguin Island. So what went wrong for Club Penguin? Well, let's find out. Predecessors. The first seeds of what would become Club Penguin began as a Flash 4 web-based game called Snow Blasters that, that developer Lance Preeb had been developing in his spare time in July 2000. Preeb's attention was brought to penguins after he happened to glance at, at a far side cartoon featuring penguins that was sitting on a that was sitting on his desk. The project was never finished and instead morphed into experimental penguins. Experimental Penguins was released through Freed's Company of Employment, the Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada-based online game and comic developer Rocket Snail Games in July 2000, though it, ultim it ultimately went offline the following year. It was used as the inspiration for, Club for, for Penguin Chat, also known as Penguin Chat 1, a similar game which was released shortly after Experimental Penguin's removal. Released January 2003, Penguin Football Chat, also known as Penguin Chat 2, was, set, was the second attempt at a Penguin-themed MMORPG and was curated on Flash 5 and used the same interface as, as Experimental Penguins. The game contained various mini-games. The premier title, Rocket Snail Games, was Ballistic Biscuit, was, was Ballistic, was Ballistic Biscuit, a game that would, that, a game that would be placed into Experimental Penguins and eventually be adapted into Club Penguin's Hydro Hopper. Rocket Snail's games, Mancala Classic, would be would also be placed into the game Mancala. Lance Preeb, as well as co-workers Lane Merrifield and Dave Kairosako, started to formulate the Club Penguin concept when the trio were unsuccessful in finding something that had some social components but was safe, and not just marked as safe for their own children. Dave Kreisko, in particular, wanted to build a safe social networking site their kids could enjoy free of advertising. In 2003, Maryfield and Preeb approached their boss with the idea of curating a spin-off company to develop the new product. The spin-off company would be known as New Horizon Interactive. Early history 2004 to 2007. Work commenced on the project in 2004 and the team settled on a name in the summer of 2005. The developers no used like the previous Penguin. project Disney Penguin Chat 2, which was still online, as a jumping off point in the design that process There's while so incorporating concepts and ideas Penguin from experimental penguins. Penguin Chat's third version was released in April 2005 and was used to test the client and servers of Penguin Chat 4, renamed Club Penguin. Variants of Penguin Chat 3 included Crab Chat, Chibi Friends Chat, Goat Chat, Ultra Chat, and TV Chat. Users from Penguin Chat were invited to beta test Club Penguin. The original plan was to release Club Penguin in 2010, but since the team had decided to fast track the project, the first version of Club Penguin went live on October 24, 2005. Just after Club, just after Penguin Chat servers were shut down in August 2005, while Penguin Chat used Electro Server, Club Penguin would use SmartFox Server. 
The developers finance their startup entirely with their own credit cards and personal lines of credit and maintain 100% ownership. Club Penguin started with, a, with 15,000 users and by March that number had reached 1.4 million, a figure which almost doubled by September when it hit 2.6 million. By the time Club Penguin was two years old, it had reached 3.9 million users despite lacking a marketing budget. The first mention of the game in, in the New York Times was in October 2006. The following year, Club Penguin spokesperson Karen Mason explained, We offer children train we, we offer children the training wheels for the kinds of activities they might pursue as they get older by Disney in 2007. Although the three Club Penguin co-curators have turned down lucrative advertising offers and venture capital investments in the past, in August 2007 they agreed to sell both Club Penguin and its parents' company to Disney for the sum of $350.93 million. In addition, the owners were promised bonuses of up to $350 million if they were able to meet growth targets by 2009. Disney ultimately didn't pay the extra $350 million as Club Penguin missed both profit goals. At the point when it was purchased by Disney, Club Penguin had 11 to 12 million accounts, of which 700,000 were paid subscribers and was generating $40 million in annual revenue. In making the sale, Mary Field has stated that their main focus during negotiations was, philosoph was philosophical and that they and, and that the intent was to provide themselves with the needed infrastructure in order to continue to grow. By late 2007, it was claimed that Club, Club Penguin, Penguin had over 30 free, million free user accounts. With every pack. In December of that year, the New York Times cool arrested that the game attracts seven times more traffic than Club Penguin was the eighth top social networking site in April 2008, according to Nielsen. After Disney's accusation, Disney Interactive had four MMOs to simultaneously juggle Toontown, Pirates of the Caribbean Online, Pixie Hollow, and Club Penguin, with World of Cars set to follow soon. Lane Merrifield assured Global Toy News at the time that it's a lot of world to manage, but we have really strong teams. Maryfield's role changed from taking a backseat in daily game design to focus on over to focusing on overall branding and quality control of the virtual gaming properties. One of his roles was to merge the Club Penguin Studio, New Horizon Interactive in Kelowna, renamed Disneyland Studios Canada, with Disneyland Studios LA. Disneyland Studios Canada focused its efforts on one product, with such features as multilingual versions, while Disneyland Studios LA focused on customer products and franchises of a wide selection of games. Maryfield was responsible for cross-pollutinating both cultures, franchising and growth from 2007 to 2015. Since the Disney purchase, Club Penguin continued to grow, becoming part of a larger franchise including video games, books, a television special, an anniversary song, and an app MMO. Disney has often used the game as a cross-promotion opportunity when releasing new films, such as Frozen, Zootopia, and Star Wars having special themed events and parties to celebrate their releases. The game forged an ever-growing mythology of characters and plot elements, including a pirate, a journalist, and a secret agent. In 2008, the first international office opened in Brighton, England to personalize the level of moderation and player support. Later, international office locations included Sao Paulo and Buenos Aires. 
On March 11, 2008, Club Penguin released the Club Penguin Improvement Project. This project allowed players to be part of the testing of new servers which were put into use in Club Penguin on April 14, 2008. Players had a clone of their Club Penguin of, of had a clone of their Penguin made to test these new servers for bugs and glitches. The testing was ended on April 4th, 2008. On June 20th, 2011, the game's website temporarily crashed after the company let the Club Penguin domain name expire. In September 2011, one of Club Penguin's mini games, Puffle Launch, was released on iOS as an app. Maryfields Mary, Mary Fields commented, kids are going mobile and have been asking for Club Penguin to go there with them. In late 2012, Mary Fields left Disney Interactive to focus on his family and a new educational project and a, and a new educational product, Fresh, Gate, Fresh Grade. Chris Hefferly took Mary Fields' former position. The company dropped the words, online studios from its name in 2013. As of July 2013, Club Penguin had over 200 million registered user accounts. In 2013, Club Penguin hired singer and former Club Penguin player Jordan Fisher to record a song entitled It's Your Birthday to commemorate Club Penguin's 8th anniversary. And then around 2015 to 2017, there was a decline and discontinuation and there was also a letter written about this as well, which I am going to read to you guys right now. In the very first issue of the CP Times, we wrote after listening to the fans, we began work on the big update to create the best community possible. We hope you enjoy Club Penguin and let us know if there is anything we can do to make your stay more enjoyable. This, that line means a great deal to me. Every day and every month, penguins make their island better for each other. All the parties have been fun. Just look at how far we've come. But the most important part of our community, this, our, but the best part of our community story is how you welcomed newcomers. Every new arrival found it found their place through our charm, through our charming, diverse, and creative community. Maybe you made someone stay with a smile, or shared your igloo, or created a tree mob, or a tu or a tuba army. You're you're a valued penguin, and we thank you. I know wherever you are, you'll continue to be amazing penguin citizens. And as we continue, as, and as we say goodbye over the next week, I know that. When, wherever you end up, you'll support each other, welcoming new friends, and create the best community possible. Thank you, by far, the, you are indeed the best story and, and, and news, any newspaper editor could ever hope for. In April 2015, it was, re it was revealed that Disney Interactive had laid off 28 kind of members of Plum Penguin's Kelowna headquarters, Due to the Whoa. due to the game's declining popularity, Maybe he's at the, spa. the company's UK or office in Britain was shut down around April 17, 2015. Seven employees in the Los the Angeles office were Club also Penguin. let go. There he is. And Disney Interactive replied to Castanet hey, and paid membership. on the layoff. Parents permission to play. Disney Interactive continually looks to find ways to curate efficiencies and streamline our operations. As part of this ongoing process, we are consolidating a, a small number of, of teams and are undergoing a targeted reduction in workforce. On September 2nd, 2015, Club Penguin closed down the German and Russian versions of the site. A spin-off mobile app, Puffle Wild, was removed from the App Store and Google Play the same day in order to allow Disney Interactive to focus on Club Penguin. 
On January 11, 2016, the sled racer and studio app, the former being an original game and the late and the latter being a port of a game on the website, followed suit. With the closure of Disney Interactive in 2015, Club Penguin side projects wound down allow a, a streamlined effort to focus on the core Club Penguin experience. This, this involved the layoffs of 30 Disney Studios Canada staff. On January 30th, 2017, Club Penguin announced that the current game would be discontinued on March 29th, 2017 to make way for its successor, Club Penguin Island. Membership payments for the original game were no longer accepted as of January 31st, 2017, with paid members slated to receive emails about membership and refunds. It became popular in the final weeks of Club Penguin to attempt speedruns to see how fast users could get banned from the site. The fastest records were tool-assisted speedruns. Days before the Club Penguin day, days before the shutdown, Club Penguin announced that on the final day of the game's operation, all users would be given a free membership until the servers were discontinued. On March 30th, 2017, at 12.01.39 a.m. PDT, which is 7.01.39 a.m. UTC, Club Penguin servers, Club Penguin servers were officially shut down. And there's a history of Club Penguin. So, what went wrong? Well, I would have to say that it would have to be because of the Disney accusation. As a lot of you guys know, Disney is one of the most powerful companies out there and they've let's say they've done some things that weren't really smart and let's be real disney literally uh buys out pretty much almost everything it's like a company that rules the world but anyways i sure hope you guys enjoyed this video um oh yeah um before i end this video off um there's also club penguin rewritten which is pretty much the same game so the legacy still lives on for those who want to play Club Penguin re so f for those who want to still play Club Penguin and remember all the nostalgia they had in Club Penguin. Anyways, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't so enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!